Michelangelo. Michelangelo was born in 1475 in Caprizi, Italy, as Michelangelo de Ludovico Buonarroti Simoni. When he was just six years old, his mother died, and he was sent to the small village of Settignano to be raised by a nanny and her husband, who was a stone cutter. Michelangelo grew up around stone and learned to work with chisels in marble. During this time, a team of painters from Florence were hired to go to the Vatican in Rome to paint the walls of the Sistine Chapel. When Michelangelo was 13, he was apprenticed to one of these painters, Domenico Ghirlandaio, for whom he worked for a couple of years. At this point, Lorenzo de' Medici, the leader of Florence at the time, asked Ghirlandaio for his two best students. Michelangelo was one of the students sent to Florence, where the Medici family became his patron. Michelangelo sculpted a copy of the Cupid, an ancient Greek statue, and when Lorenzo de' Medici saw it, he persuaded Michelangelo to make it look older by smearing dirt on it, and they were able to sell it as an authentic ancient Greek sculpture. Cardinal Raffaello Riaro, the purchaser, found out that it was fake, but was so impressed with Michelangelo's skill that he invited him to Rome to work for him, which was the beginning of Michelangelo's long association with the Catholic Church. When Michelangelo was 26 years old, he was commissioned to sculpt La Pieta, the Piety, which is one of his best-known works. After it was finished, Michelangelo overheard someone comment about the sculpture as the work of another artist. Michelangelo was so upset that he returned to the chapel where the statue was displayed at the time after dark and carved the words Michelangelo Buonarroti, the Florentine, made this across a banner of the Virgin Mary. He was later embarrassed by what he had done and vowed never to sign his work again. This didn't prevent him from inserting his self-portrait into his work on numerous occasions. Before the age of 30, Michelangelo not only completed La Pieta as well as numerous other works, but also one of his other crowning achievements, the Statue of David. The church had commissioned another artist over 40 years earlier to sculpt something from a gigantic piece of Carrera marble that measured over 17 feet tall. It was referred to as the giant. That sculpture never materialized. Many artists were brought in to evaluate the marble, including Leonardo da Vinci. Eventually, Michelangelo was chosen to see if he could make something from it. The marble was unstable and could crack and split into many pieces if not expertly carved. The resulting statue is a stunning 17-foot-tall figure of the Statue of David, which now resides in the Duomo, the cathedral in Florence, Italy. Pope Julius II commissioned Michelangelo to design and sculpt his tomb. Michelangelo spent a year designing, redesigning, modifying the design, selecting and moving marble from Carrera, only to have the Pope suddenly stop the project. Some people think that the Pope ran out of money. Michelangelo was so enraged that he left Rome and returned to Florence and began working on other projects. Eventually, the Pope convinced Michelangelo, who was not afraid to stand up to the Pope, to return to Rome, but not to resume work on the tomb, but to instead paint the Sistine Chapel ceiling. Michelangelo was furious, but the Pope insisted that he could resume work on the tomb only after he finished painting this chapel ceiling. In this detail of the creation of Adam, Michelangelo depicts Adam's hand almost but not quite touching the hand of God, who is about to transmit the spark of life to Adam. This is probably the most analyzed and studied religious painting in history. The Pope had first asked Raphael, the Vatican's official painter, to paint the ceiling, but Raphael turned down the project and instead suggested Michelangelo, thinking that he would botch the job so badly that his reputation would forever be ruined. Michelangelo regarded himself as a sculptor, not a painter, but he couldn't resume the work on the Pope's tomb if he didn't take on this project. The Sistine Chapel, as well as the Vatican itself, is guarded by the Swiss Guard, who wear uniforms which may have been designed by Michelangelo or Raphael. Historians disagree. During the painting of the ceiling, which took four years, from 1508 to 1512, one of the Pope's advisors, Biagio de Cessina, took offense to the amount of nudity that Michelangelo included in the paintings. He took his complaint directly to the Pope, who dismissed his concerns and allowed Michelangelo to continue. Michelangelo, though, was not done with Biagio, and he depicted him in hell, wearing donkey ears. When the Pope was made aware of the transgression, 
He remarked that he didn't have jurisdiction in hell, so that was the end of the matter. Michelangelo's stature as Italy's premier sculptor was so extensive that he became the first Western artist to have two biographies written about him while he still lived. He was referred to as Il Divino, the Divine One, because people believed Michelangelo was sent by God to do his work. Michelangelo himself believed that God had a hand in his work and was a very devoted Christian who studied the Bible carefully and included many clues and links to the Word of God in his work. Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, and Raphael Sanzio were contemporaries and knew each other. Da Vinci and Michelangelo both lived in Florence, while Raphael lived and worked in Rome at the Vatican. Da Vinci was a very fashionable dresser and had many friends, while Michelangelo walked about in his ragged clothes with marble dust in his hair and was usually alone. Both da Vinci and Raphael had difficult relations with Michelangelo, but had great respect for his work. Once Raphael saw what a magnificent job Michelangelo was doing on the half-finished Sistine Chapel, he tried everything he could to convince the Pope to allow him to take over the project. The Pope saw through this and didn't allow it. This began a long period of distrust on Michelangelo's part. But for Raphael, he began to idolize Michelangelo and even painted him into one of his paintings. Pope Clement VII commissioned Michelangelo to paint a fresco of the Last Judgment on the altar wall of the Sistine Chapel. His successor, Pope Paul III, was instrumental in seeing that Michelangelo began and completed the project, which he labored on from 1534 to 1541. A fresco is a painting that is done up by applying paint directly into wet plaster. Michelangelo was so annoyed at having been forced to paint the Sistine Chapel again that he painted his own self-portrait as the flayed skin of St. Bartholomew. When Michelangelo was 74, the Pope made him the architect of St. Peter's Basilica. He transformed the plan so that the western end was finished to his design, as was the dome, with some modification after his death. Michelangelo kept working until the week he died. Sculpture remained Michelangelo's true love, however, and he continued chiseling away in his home studio until the very end. Only days before he died at the age of 88, he was still working on the so-called Rodanini Pieta, which depicts Jesus in the arms of Virgin Mary.